Checking out the Phantom or optional high torque rotor 12.3 millimeter that you can put into their motors. Uh, these normally come with a 12.45 millimeter rotor, so it'd be interesting to see uh, what difference it makes. Uh, this is a 17.5, the Type M. Uh, it's been set up uh, to draw 6 amps and uh, giving you a nice KV of a 3471. And then I'll swap out the rotor and see what it does. And then also I can put it onto the uh, dyno here with the, um, with the weight, dyno, flywheel weight, and uh, if possible uh, do uh, some figures on here for torque. So um, anyways, uh, I can also, uh, I'll make a note of the time in Put the phantom motor in the dyno and just going to run it up. Uh, I always uh, make sure the battery is kept fully charged otherwise you won't get repeatable uh, results or consistent results where you can compare motors. So make sure it's uh, fully charged at all times. I keep a charger on it. And um, using the same setup of course. Uh, this is with, uh, before I change the rotor. Uh, we just run this up. And then you can read off the results which would be stored in uh, result number one. Gives you your um, maximum revs, torque and efficiency uh, We can compare the horsepower, be useful. Uh, at 10,800, it was the maximum uh, horsepower, 172 watts. So um, I'll make a note on this uh, chart of the results and then I'll, I'll note down some of these figures the horsepower and the, um, there's the, the amps drawn at the maximum horsepower. Uh, some of these figures are not uh, totally accurate but they're, they're quite useful. Maximum horsepower at the revs point was 10,800 and the torque was that. Right, I've loaded these results uh, into the computer. Uh, they're very similar. Horsepower 172 watts. Maximum efficiency 66 percent and uh, the um, torque was 152, around 10,800. Um, on the computer, we've got uh, uh, here the Phantom 17.5. I've just done, uh, just put this in. Uh, you have to, you've got a few variables you have to adjust, but it's close enough 168 watts. Um, Maximum efficiency 68% and uh, the uh, torque 156 at maximum power. Now the maximum power always occurs about 50% of the of the um, curve, about so it's always about in the middle. But um, this is the point you want. The maximum efficiency point is where you will run the motor. Uh, when it hits um, about halfway up the straight, so you want it to be doing uh, uh, 16, about 17,000 RPM. You just take the motor, just goes past the peak efficiency, and it runs about there. And um, as the power goes down, it, the car won't go any faster, but that uh, runs and without getting hot. If you gear it so that uh, you're running the revs here or gear it uh, the other way so it revs too high high the efficiency drops off and the motor will heat up I've taken the phantom motor apart so I can take out the standard rotor it comes with a 12.45 can measure the gauss and it's uh, about 13.50 oops 1344 one side and about 
13.50 the other side so it's about 13.50 now that's about the same similar gauss to a lot of these standard uh, rotors here is the um, the Reedy standard 12 they call it 12.5 it's 12.45 that's about 1400 gauss uh, the Reedy 12.2 is only 1300 and the 12 is about 12.50 other ones I've measured um, uh, the Revtech one, the standard Gauss was about 1400 and the Motive M code was very high, over 1500 Gauss um, there's another uh, Phantom one I measured was um, about 1400 Gauss so this one is actually um, quite low, so I don't know if they vary. It's only about 13.50, so I don't know if they vary very much. Anyway, I've written that down on this chart alongside everything else. And then um, I'm just going to do this one, the, uh, the optional 12.3 high torque. Just put it in here. And that's about 14. Oops, didn't go in properly. About 14.50. It's just catching the other way. It's got it in properly. Hmm. About 14.50 one way. Slightly uh, less the other way, it's not a very well made magnet. Normally, it should be the same both sides. The positive is reading about 1450, and the negative, let's turn it. No, it's only about 1415, 1418. So I can write that down as well, and I'm going to build this into the motor. Now, a high-strength, uh, smaller diameter rotor actually gives you better performance. Um, there's less uh, mass to rotate, so uh, and the, then the higher strength also gives you a good um, energy in the motor. So um, as opposed to the, the Reedy one, as it went smaller, the uh, gauss went down. Well, this one's gone smaller and the gauss has actually gone up. So it'd be interesting to see how the motor works with this one in it. Okay, I've just run up the uh, motor with the optional um, rotor in it. And at 6 amps, the revs is actually uh, fractionally lower. Three, three, uh, the KB is 3375. Uh, when we did it with the standard rotor, it was 3471. So um, there doesn't seem to be uh, much change there. Uh, the timing, I didn't have to alter the timing. Timing is uh, 47, 49 and 50. Right, just going to run it up on the dyno. And I can look at this data in record one and I'll check out these uh, load it onto the um, computer and do a graph as well and I'll just analyze uh, these figures here you've got um, horsepower uh, 10,600 uh, this time it was 10.8 before, uh, 152 uh, torque and 169 watts horsepower uh, before it was um, 172 watts and 152 torque at 10.8 so that the efficiency is 64% uh, last time it was about 66% so the, 
there doesn't seem to be uh, much improvement. Uh, the amps look about the same, and um, I just checked the uh, KV did 28 300 and the voltage was 79 8 300 divided by 7.9 gives you 3582 kbs and the other one was uh, about 36 whoops 3600 so it looks like it's um there's no advantage in so far uh, on this dyno reading. I'll put it on the graph and compare. I've graphed up the results from the Phantom 17.5 with the 12.3 rotor, and because uh, it's very similar results on the dyno, and so the graph's very similar as well. Uh, the KB, um, the watts are close, 164. It was 169 on the dyno, so it's close enough. Uh, the efficiency shows up slightly higher, which is that point there, but at 16,700 revs. And then we can compare the two motors. Um, uh, here they are. I've already got them here. You've got the standard Phantom, the one with the 12 rotor. Uh, blue one is that one. And the red one is this one before we change the rotor. And the curves are very similar. The peak power, um, the current draw um, here. And the efficiency uh, point, um, both occur in about 16 to 17,000 RPM, which is all... Um, a bit disappointing that you change to a high torque rotor and in fact you don't get any uh, change in performance. Um, though I did suspect that because a smaller diameter means that it's further away from the winding so the torque is actually less and then they put the torque up on the rotor to compensate so it virtually works out the same. So uh, that's the result of changing the rotor, so um, you might as well stay with the standard rotor or unless you break it, uh, you can put this one in.